Hi guys, Walsh here. Uh, video number two in the basic fixed wing eval prep training. Um, in the first uh, video we covered the pre-flight and startup, the taxi and the takeoff. This video will cover the flight maneuvers you'll be asked to do as well as the landing approach and the landing pattern that you'll be asked to do. I'm just going to get myself turned back eastward here. Um, these tests will take place out here over the ocean um, to, in order to give us a baseline on the altitude um, so the land doesn't interfere with it. First test uh, that you'll be asked to do is just provide a, or demonstrate straight and level flight. Um, and that's simply going to be holding a specific altitude for a number of kilometers. Uh, and since we're already flying at 400, we'll just demonstrate, uh, we'll imagine that the instructor told us to fly at 400. So. You just hold your altitude for between three and five kilometers. Miss minor corrections up and down as needed to hold that altitude. Um, the next maneuver that they will ask you to do is going to be a climb to a specific altitude uh, of 1500 meters. And they're going to want an aggressive climb and they don't want you to overshoot or undershoot by too much. You've got a hundred meter cushion um, before you would start to get docked any points. After, uh, above 100 you'd be docked a point for every 10. So 110 would dock a point, 120 would dock two points, etc. So um, we'll demonstrate a climb. Just an aggressive climb up to 1500 and then you'll go ahead and level off. Watch your uh, altimeter and you want to start your level off a little early so you don't overshoot too much. 1400 and then we're level there at uh, 15. Okay. Next thing that they'll ask you to do is drop back down to 500 meters. Same thing here. You want to pull out a little early. You'll deal with some red out here, so it's a very good idea to kill your engine. And we just pull out there, and there we go. Now we're back to 500. Okay. Next thing that they're going to do is ask you to demonstrate turns to a specific heading. Um, and I, you know, instructors in a good mood, they're going to give you a cardinal direction. So they may say, give me a left turn here to 270. Altitude's really not a factor at all. They just want to see that you can turn to a specific heading. So, uh, again, without rolling too far over the heading or, or rolling out too early. And they will tell you if they want a medium or a steep more or less aggressive turn. As you can see there, I missed that one by almost five degrees, but you've got a uh, 10 degree cushion either way. So then they may say, they'll give you another turn back to a different heading. We'll say, I don't know, uh, 040 will be the next turn. And that's all there is to it for the flight maneuvers. Let me, um, we'll skip this so we can get back near the airport for the next portion. Oh, I'm sorry. They will make a forced induced stall. So just put ourselves in a climb, kill the engine. I should point out that you'll be in the two-seater variant uh, and your instructor will be with you for all this to monitor your speeds and all this stuff. So we're just climbing or holding this climb with the engines off until we get our stall. There it is. They want you got to let the stall take hold, and then get out of it. Nose down, engine back on, and we're out of the stall, no problem. Other thing that uh, they're going to ask you to do is induce a pass out. So turn left, full G turn, all the way out. Okay, we're out. Hands off the controls and just wait until you wake up and then as soon as you wake up you want to correct and get yourself back into straight and level flight there we are and we're corrected okay engines coming back up um, make sure when you induce that high G turn to pass out that you have significant altitude to give yourself some time to wake up okay and that is going to do it for the flight maneuvers I'm going to just um, I'll edit the video here and get us close to the airfield for the next Portion. Hey guys, welcome back to the basic fixed wing evaluation video series. Uh, this one is going to demonstrate just the proper 
technique for a um, approach and landing at the airbase, and we will after that we'll demonstrate the straight and landing. Um, just a couple things to bear in mind as you prepare to uh, head towards the airbase for landing. You want to make sure both your lighting systems are on your um, anti-collision and your landing lights. This particular airframe, whoop, don't black out. I forgot to grab a flight suit. This particular airframe shows them right there on my HUD. Uh, LLS for landing lights and A call for anti-collision. And of course they're also displayed up there in the upper left on that HUD. You're going to want to know the direction you are from the airfield and approximate distance so you can call um, in and let them know your request. And you're going to need to know the pattern. If you need a refresher on the pattern, once we get the uh, manuals linked on the wiki, they will be linked in this video. Um, and you can just take a look at the manuals if you need a refresher. There's also some other uh, courses in this channel that can give you a refresher on it. Pattern altitude should be for fixed wing 1,000 feet AGL, which is going to be about 333 meters. Pattern speed between 3 and uh, 500. You won't be tested on either one of those parameters in this. We don't care. Whatever you're comfortable with flying is, is what we're going to go with. Um, you should be contacting the center um, in, inside of 10 but before 6 kilometers out for with your request. Um, and for your evaluation we're just going to do CTAF flight rules as if there's not an ATC in the, um, in the tower. But we'll go ahead and have you do a proper uh, initial call up anyway for landing. So I know that I am about uh, 6 clicks south and uh, I'll make my call. Tell us ATC Eagle 1, 6 kilometers to your south, request inbound for landing. Your instructor will step in now and give you instructions. I'm going to say that the instructor told me to enter uh, on the upwind for 04. So I'm going to go ahead and fly the pattern now. And what I do over the radio uh, is what you should do. And um, also, when you if you look at that course material, make sure that you're aware of the uh, midfield of beam and the a beam point. Tells traffic Eagle 1 entering upwind 04 tells traffic. Tell us traffic Eagle 1 turning crosswind 04, tell us traffic. Tell us traffic Eagle 1 turning downwind for 04, tell us traffic. Approaching the midfield of beam, which is where we begin to configure for landing. Uh, in this case, that's dropping our gear in one notch of flaps. And then the uh, beam point, it's a second notch of flaps. And check that the gear is down and locked, it is. Tells traffic Eagle 1 turning base. This is 404, tells traffic. Telus traffic Eagle 1 turning final 404 right, Telus traffic. Telus traffic Eagle 1 on final 04 right, Telus traffic. Tells traffic Eagle 1 departing uh, 
zero four right via taxiway delta. I incorrectly used the term there, departing zero four right, to talk about me clearing the active runway, and that is incorrect. That could be confused with somebody calling an outbound, so always use the term clearing as opposed to departing. That's my bad. I do it a couple more times in the video. I know this isn't a real taxiway, but we're just clearing the runway. Tells traffic Eagle 1 crossing uh, zero 04 left to 2 right. Nobody coming. Tells traffic Eagle 1 now clear the active via Charlie taxiway. Tells traffic. Alright, very simple pattern flight. Uh, nothing to it. We will uh, fast forward here. I'll use movie magic to get us set up for the straight in. Okay, straight in landings have the same considerations. You want to make sure that uh, both your lights are on. Mine are. Uh, make sure that you know your distance and direction to the airfield. Make your initial call. I'm going to turn towards the runway here. Straight ends are similar in considerations. You need to make sure that your lights are on, as I have, uh, and you know your direction, your distance for your initial call. Get myself on a runway heading. Telus traffic Atlas 1 inbound from the northeast uh, for 22 left, full stop. Myself on a runway heading, Caution. drop gear, gear and down. flaps. Reaper, and ideally, we'll touch down on the first third of the runway. Telus traffic, Atlas 1 on final, 2 2 left, Telus traffic. Brakes. Okay. Uh, Telos traffic, Atlas 1 is departing 2 2 left via uh, Bravo Taxiway. This is a uh, edit. As you heard there, I used uh, the term departing to, to, to talk about clearing off the runway, and that is incorrect. You should always use the term clearing the runway. Tell us traffic, Atlas 1, clear the act of tell us traffic. The next video in this series will show the power off landing. Um, there is no video for the SEER training or the... Uh, bullseye that's strictly book work and uh, it'd be difficult to show in a video so thanks for watching